good morning children in the last class we had read about the state of arunachal pradesh today we will continue reading about the other states of the north eastern india firstly we will read about assam assam is the biggest state in this region its capital is dispur it has tea plantations where thousands of people work assam is famous for its silk Parts of Assam are covered by the northern plain. Most of the people speak Assamese. The people in Assam celebrate Bihu as the harvest festival. So children, Assam is also a big state in the northeastern part of India and the capital of Assam is Dispur. What is the capital of Assam? It is Dispur. Now, in Assam children, there are tea plantations. tea plantations means tree sorry tea is grown in large quantities in assam and there are very big fields where only tea is grown and thousands of people thousands of people work in those tea fields then children assam is also famous for its silk as we all know silk is a very expensive fabric so silk is also grown here in assam or silk is also made here in assam now some parts of assam is also covered by the northern plains so northern plains is also here present in assam and the language that people speak is assamese so assamese is their main language and they celebrate bihu festival which is their harvest festival next we will study about meghalaya Meghalaya means the abode of clouds and mountain rim near Cherrapunji gets the heaviest rainfall in the world. Shillong is a popular hill station is the capital city. Most of the people belong to Karo, Khasi and Jaintia tribes. They are farmers and grow rice, maize, potato, sugarcane, jute and fruits like pineapple and orange. so children the word meghalaya means the abode of clouds abode means home so the word meghalaya means abode of clouds now mountain rim children is a place near cherrapunji in meghalaya and this place mountain rim receives the heaviest rainfall in the world so which place receives the heaviest rainfall mountain rim mountain rim receives the heaviest rainfall in the world and what is the capital of meghalaya shillong so shillong is the capital and it is a very popular hill station in meghalaya now children people here belong to karo khasi and jaintia tribe and the people are mostly farmers so they grow rice maize potato sugarcane jute and some fruits like pineapple and orange now next state is nagaland the capital of nagaland is kohima rice maize millet and orange are grown here the naga wear shawls of different designs a naga tribe can be identified by the shawl he or she wears so children the capital of nagaland is kohima and people who live here they grow rice millet and oranges so all these crops and fruits are grown by the people now children the people of nagaland are also known as nagas they are also known as nagas and these people wear different designs of shawls so they wear shawls of different designs and we can identify a naga tribe by the shawl by the shawl that they wear now next is manipur Manipur means a jeweled town. Imphal is the capital city. The state is partly hills and partly under the plains. Manipuri is the main language and the important festivals are Durga Puja, Diwali, Rath Yatra and Janmashtami. The farmers mainly grow rice, wheat and maize. Silk worm, sorry, silk worm farming that is sericulture is also very important here. the manipuri dance is famous throughout india so children the word manipur means jewel town 
and as we all know the capital of manipur is imphal so what is the capital of manipur it is imphal now the state is half covered with hills and half it is covered with plains so partly with hills and partly with plains then manipuri is the main language that is spoken by the people of manipur and the festivals they celebrate are durga puja diwali rath yatra and janmashtami so these are all the famous festivals now the farmers here they grow rice wheat and maize people also do sericulture what do you mean by sericulture sericulture means silk worm farming so they grow silk worm from which the silk fabric is made now manipuri dance is their famous dance and which is popular all over the world now next state is mizoram mizoram means land of the hill people aswal is the capital city agriculture is the main occupation of the people they grow rice maize potato ginger and tobacco sericulture is also very popular here the bamboo dance is very famous so children the word mizoram it means land of the hill people and the uh, the city aiswal is their capital city now people here they grow maize rice potato ginger and tobacco so these are all grown by the people of mizoram and sericulture is also very popular here sericulture means silk worm farming so here also silk worm silk worm farming is very popular and bamboo dance of mizoram is also very famous here children you can see how the bamboo dance of mizoram is the women they dance on the bamboo now the last state is tripura tripura is surrounded by bangladesh on all the three sides agartala is the capital city the main language spoken is bangla people are farmers and they grow rice maize millet tea jute and sugarcane bamboo is also grown in many parts people make beautiful things from cane and bamboo so children tripura is surrounded by our neighboring country bangladesh from three sides so tripura is surrounded by bangladesh from three sides and the capital of tripura is agartala now people here mostly speak bangla so bangla is their main language and the farmers over here they grow rice millet maize tea jute sugarcane and bamboo so bamboo is also grown here and people make many craft items from cane and bamboo so over here you can see children bamboo product of tripura it is shown in the third picture so you can clearly see so many things are made from bamboo okay now children let us read the new terms which are given first is marshes so low lying areas which remain waterlogged at all time and stilt house a house built on upright pieces of wood so that is stilt houses as you can see in the image also it is given that these houses are made on upright pieces of wood now children let us do this activity name the following first is high peaks of the great himalayas so children the high peaks of great himalayas are mount kanchenjunga and annapurna then famous lakes of shrinagar so two very famous lakes of shrinagar are dal lake and bular lake then two hill stations of uttarakhand is masuri and nainital then fourth two tribes of sikkim so two tribes of sikkim are lepcha and bhutia and two crops grown in nagaland are rice and maize so with this children we have completed with chapter number 2 i will be sending the pdf for your exercises and question answers please write it down in your books and copies 
and now children i will see you in the next class thank you children